Hey, what's up guys, Harshan back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you 25 serial tweaks that are compatible with your iOS 12. So guys, this right is my iPhone 7 and I'm using the jailbreak for like uh, since the day it was out. So guys, it's been uh, more than a month, I guess, since I've been using these jailbreak tweaks and I know pretty much everything about these jailbreak tweaks. So guys, I have created many videos regarding jailbreak. If you want to check out any one of them, links in the description. So guys, without any further ado, let's just quickly get started. So uh, before starting, I want to tell you guys one thing that I have also written an article regarding all the jailbreak tweaks. So if you don't want to watch the video and if you want to read the article, I'll the leave link. I'll I'll leave the links in the description for that article as well and you can go and check it out. So guys, without any further ado, let's just quickly begin to the video. And so always the first week which I want to talk to you guys about is known as Blord. B-L-O-A-R-D is the spelling. So guys, again, if you, are, if you are not able to hear what I am saying, I'll leave the link in the description for an article as well. You can read in, check out the spelling in the repositories, put all those things uh, down in the description box below. So guys, as you can see, what Blord does is that Blord gives you this very cool looking black keyboard. So guys, I'll just go into my messages app and I'll just show you and uh, by default Apple gives us a white keyboard but with this tweak you get a black keyboard and this look really clean and cool as well alright guys so the next week is known as call bar access so guys whenever you get a call uh, your whole screen is occupied and you are not able to do any other stuff like if you are playing a game if you are or surfing the internet uh, so guys when a, whenever a call comes it occupies the entire screen but guys with this tweak I'll just show you what will happen if a call, call comes and you will get a pop-up like this so guys if you want to arrange this pop-up you can go into your settings and do some customization as well so guys, this thing is looking pretty cool and if you want to do any of this stuff like if you want to go to the keypad or you can uh, you want to turn on the speaker you can just simply click right over here and you will you will able to do all those settings which you used to get before so guys, whenever a call comes as well it will be it will come like this uh, this small box will come up on your screen and this looks very minimal and very clean as well so guys, this is due to a tweak known as call bar access so guys, next up is CC linker what it does is that it links these icons right over here to the pages which are present in your settings menu so guys, just like we have it on your Androids so if I hold and press and hold this Wi-Fi button right over here, it will redirect me to the Wi-Fi tab which is present in my settings I, or, or the Wi-Fi page which is present in my settings. And this makes my work very easy. So guys, uh, like this, and if you want to turn use it for Bluetooth, you can use it for Bluetooth function as well. So guys, this is due to what we known as CC Linker. So guys, next up is Down Locker. Down Locker, what it does is that whenever I turn my phone upside down, it will automatically lock my phone. So I'll just show you. Right now my phone is on and here we go so guys as you can see my phone is locked right now and i have to uh, unlock it again so guys, whenever i put my phone upside down this wheel will automatically get activated so i'll just show you again you'll hear the lock sound as well so i'll just remain silent for a moment and here we go as soon as i put my phone upside down this will lock and guys when i turn it up on uh, raise to fake waste raise to wake feature is also on so guys as you can see this is due to a tweak called down locker down locker so with next week is mariana mariana what it does is that it allows you to customize your dock so as you can see here you have plenty of options to choose from you can hide the bar you can hide dog dots you can hide the dog as well so guys as you can see right now i have enabled uh, 11 icons on my dot dock so guys as you can see now let me just drag and drop this thing on my dock so guys as you can see uh, now I have 5 icons I can put 6, 7 and up to 11 icons on my dock screen but guys this is not looking as good so that's why I don't use uh, 5 icons on my dock, dock screen if you guys have an iPhone 10 or iPhone 10 11 oh, I'm sorry iPhone 10 and 10, 10s then you'll get uh, better options I mean uh, this thing will look good on those devices. So wait, next up is Edmet. So what it does is that it gives you fast note, fast animation or almost no app animations. So wait, I'll just show you as you can see how cool, quick is my app animation. So wait, as you can see I, I or, or I should say I have no animations at all. So whenever I close and open one app it is opening and closing instantly. So guys, this thing is pretty cool. This is due to a tweak called El Mute. So guys, next up is Swipe to Hide. Swipe to Hide, what it does is that whenever you sprite, uh, swipe this thing right like this from left to right, that uh, spring the springboard or the time and the clock or status bar will get disappeared and when you do this the home button uh, the dock also get disappeared and this thing looks pretty clean as well so as you can see whenever i swipe right this thing will get uh, removed and whenever i swipe swipe back this thing will come up and same is the case with the home screen and as you can see i'm sorry the dock as you can see this thing looking pretty cool and clean as well so guys, next up is x teso i don't know how do we call it so what it does is that it gives you a really cool look 
clean or a clue look to open your folder so guys whenever you go to a folder and you want to open one app you need you'll get this circular ring kind of thing and whenever you uh, hold and release that thing i mean your finger on that thing that application will get open on your iphone device so i'll just show you again like this if you want if you want, I want to open help so then i'll do this and the help option will open up so guys, this is due to a tweak called Xteso. I guess I am saying this thing correctly. So it's okay. Next up is iPad Switcher. This gives you this cool looking grid, uh, grid kind of view of your multitasker. So this thing looking pretty cool. And this is due to a tweak called apps iPad Switcher. So this gives your eye switcher or eyes or uh, switcher a really clean and a good look, just like we have it on your iPads. So guys, this is due to a tweak called iPad Switcher. So guys, next up is Eclipse 12. Eclipse 12, what it does is that it gives you a black or a black theme. For your iOS 12 devices so guys this removes the strain on your eyes as well and this thing looks pretty clean and cool as well so if you're using an iPhone 10 with the OLED display this thing will look even more amazing so guys next up is Jellyfish Jellyfish what it does is that it gives you a uh, really cool Apple watch like theme on a lock screen so guys, as you can see uh, this right here the time and the date this is uh, this is copied from Apple watch and this thing looks pretty cool so guys, this is due to a tweak called Jellyfish Alright guys, so next up is Skillex. So Skillex what it does is that whenever you uh, swipe down on each or any app, on app any application on your app switcher, this will get removed, uh, rid of all the applications which were present in the app switcher. So guys, earlier what you used to what you used to do is that you used you used to swipe up on each and every application to in order to remove them. But with the Skillex uh, Skillex tweak, you just need to swipe down on any one of the application and all of the applications which are present in your app switcher will be removed. So guys, next up is Meliore. Meliore give this really cool and clean look of your volume hurt so right earlier the volume hurt was very annoying it used to occupy half of your screen but this with tweak this tweak meal or this will give you a very clean and a little uh, volume slider on left of your screen or you can arrange the set arrange this its position by going into the settings all right guys so next up is modern dog i think most of you have already noticed it that i have round background on my dog so as you can see this is the same which we have on our iphone 10 devices iPhone 10 and above. So this right here is due to a tweak called modern dog. This will give me a round background of my dog. So guys, next up is no beta alert. I think most of you are familiar with no beta alert. No beta alert give uh, you get rid of that annoying pop up which used to come every time whenever you respring or restart your device. So this that was no beta alert. Alright guys, so next up is power selector. Power selector what it does is that it gives you very cool and uh, awesome features of your power selector of your power of slider so guys as you can see by default i have slide to power off and when i click on it uh, the option will get changed slide to reboot and i click on again uh, slide to id restart next up is slide to respring uh, slide to respring slide to safe mode so guys i have plenty of option which you to choose from so guys this is due to a tweak called power selector all right guys so next up is safari plus safari plus what it does is that it allows you to download things or download movies youtube videos from directly from the safari app onto your camera roll so guys, i'll just show you downloading one video so guys, i'll not show you in detail because of copyright issues obviously i will not show you so guys, as you can see here, we have this download fold, uh, download button right over here and I can download each and every file which I like. So this is due to a tweak called Safari Plus. So guys, next up is Sugarcane. Sugarcane, what it does is that Sugarcane gives you a battery percentage on your uh, the sliders, the volume sliders and the battery sliders. So guys, I'll just show you. And as you can see, right now you are getting the sliders, I mean the battery percentage or I'm sorry, not the battery percentage, but the slider percentage. So the brightness percentage is right over here and the volume percentage is also right over here. So this is due to a tweak called sugar cane. All right, so next up is small series. Small series, what it does is that instead of series occupying the entire screen, it comes either on the bottom, either on the bottom or at the top. So I'll just show you again. And as you can see, this right here is Siri on the bottom of the screen and it's not occupying the entire screen. I can do whatever I want on the rest of the remaining screen. So as, uh, as you can see, this right here is due to a tweak called small Siri. All right, guys, next up is swipe for more. Swipe for more can come in very handy and I think most of you are already familiar with it. So guys, what it does is that if you go into your tweak and if you want to, if, I mean, if you want to Siri and if you want to install or reinstall any tweak, you just need to swipe right. Uh, I'm sorry, swipe left. And as you can see here, you can choose and oh, oh. So I did something wrong. I don't know what I uninstalled. So you can do this thing and you can uh, queue downloads, remove downloads, re-download or download easily by swiping from the to the left. So uh, this is due to a tweak called swipe for more. So uh, next up is YouTube read allows you to play YouTube, YouTube songs or YouTube videos in your background. So uh, I'll just show you. So uh, as you can see, this is right. This right here is my video and it's 
and as you can see it's running in the background All right, guys. So this is due to a tweak called YouTube D. So guys, most probably, I think I have covered 25 latest and cool CDI tweaks that are compatible with your iOS 12. So guys, I think that's that was pretty much it for this video. And if you guys have made it till the end, drop a like to this video. And if you want to make any more such kind of videos, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.